hello guys welcome to engineer brandon's tools so today we are going to program a pic 16 f84 microcontrollers in assembly language so here is a schematic here is my pic 16 f84 microcontrollers that we are going to program here is our output oh. Here is our output and here is our input. So we are going to program it in such a way that whenever it receives a high input that is 5 volts, you give an output and whenever it receives a zero input that is zero volts, you give no output. So to write our code in assembly, I'll use notepad. So we are using a PIC 16F84 microcontroller. So we are going to start programming in assembly. So in assembly, every line we start with a semicolon is a comment. So that is a comment. So So those are comments. So to start programming our microcontroller, we will need sudo instructions or directives. We specify what the, all the properties of the microcontroller. So we are going to write list p equals to 64. I mean 16 f84. This one specifies that we are using a processor, the PIC 16F84A processor. Then this one, this one specifies that we are going to put our numbers in hexadecimal. So we are going to define the processor we are going to define so hash we are including the processor of the microcontroller so under, we are going to configure the microcontroller, the properties. This one means we should off the watchdog timer. The one means we are going to use an XT oscillator. Another name for XT oscillator is crystal oscillator. Then this one specifies that the power timer should be off. So we are going to start our code here are comments this comments that I do that I did here is to beautify our code for more understanding so programming in assembly is made up of directives labels instructions and comments 
so here are my directives that I've set which are the properties of the microcontroller then here I'll have my labels here at the corner left and my instructions at this other edge I can separate a label and an instruction simply with a space or with more spaces so go to start so here is my first label start so to configure the microcontroller pins as input and output we are going to do this in what we call the status register so that is we enter the status register to configure which pins will be input and which pins will be output so to get into the status register i declare bit set f status rp0 as i declare this i am in the status register so in this register i can i can define which of my pins will be input and which of my pins will be output so here i can see that i want pin ra0 as input and i want pin rb7 as output so i'm going to tear my status register so pin pin ra0 as input i'm going to say b set f trees b comma 0 this means this bit set f means i should put a 1 on the trees b the first that is trees b means ra0 i mean trees a so I'm going to say big set F is a comma zero this line simply means set R a zero as input That is trees a comma zero means register r a zero then bit set f means i should put a one to it and when i put a one to it it makes it it declares it as input then to declare here as output i'll say declare f comma 7 this simply means I'm setting RB RB7 as output that is I go to a register where pin RB7 is found and I clear it Clearing it means putting a zero there and when I put the zero there it sets it as an output So as I've configured my input output pins, I'll now move out from my status register Be clear F By doing so I get out of the status register then I start the main code So we will go to our main program, our main loop. So here I'm going to say declare f. Put b 
comma 7 so this line of instruction since simply means I should set set a zero a zero bit set a zero bit at output that is in rb7 set a zero bit output that is pin rb7 that is i should off the output then i'm going to define a loop i'm just going to call it loop what is nice with assembly language is that you can define loops anywhere you want and you can define as many loops as you like but the condition is that loops should not bear the same name all your loops should have different names so here i'm going to say bit test f and skip if set port a comma zero this line of instruction simply means that you test if r a zero equals to one and skip and skip if r a zero equals to one or oh, let me just see let me just say test r a zero and skip if r a zero equals to one it simply means let me test pin r a zero and skip the next instruction which follows down here if r a zero is equals to one but if r a zero is not equals to one let me execute this instruction so what is our next instruction our next instruction will be go to main so let me test r a0 if it is 1 let me skip this instruction but if it is 0 let me execute this instruction that is what these two lines mean so on the I'm going to say B set F for B comma 7. Okay, let me explain these three lines in all. This first line means I should test pin RA0. If it is set, let me skip this instruction and execute this one. That is, if a 1 is here, let me skip this instruction and put a 1 here this bit set f pod b comma 7 means i'm putting a 1 on pin r b 7 but if this if pin r a 0 is not set that is if it, if it is clear let me execute this instruction that is let me go back to the main and come back and test it again that is all about it then go to loop that is when i set when i set a one here let me go back to the loop and test for that pin r a zero then to end to end my code in assembly i simply use n that is all then i'm going to save it as an asm file and open it in MP lab I'm going to name it link led link led dot ASM so I've already created a folder for that 
Here is it, bling light. So I'm going to open it using MP Lab. I'm going to create a project. As I showed you in my last video, how to create a project using MP Lab. Here I'm using the PIC16 F84A microcontroller. I'm just going to call it Blink. So I'm going to include my file blinklet.asm Then I'm going to build build all see so as I've built I've built my code and a green light was highlighted it means everything is okay with my code there is no error no nothing build see a green light is highlighted so as i build my code in mp lab so whenever i build my code in mp lab the hex file will be loaded in the particular folder where i saved my code so where is the folder here is it blinklet so a hex file will be loaded here is a hex file i'm going to burn this hex file into my microcontroller so to burn the hex file in my microcontroller i'll double click then here is the program file i'm going to choose the location where it is found it's found on my desktop blinklet so here is it blinklet type hex file this is a file that i'm going to burn into my microcontroller so i'm going to run so i see that when a one is sent to my microcontroller a one is received as output let me send a zero and see what will happen see so when i've sent a zero to my microcontroller a zero was sent as output so that is all about it okay thank you once more for watching my video please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and for more engineering projects please visit my website my website i'm still building my website but soon i will host it thank you very much wow.